All right, y'all. The main two reasons why people cannot stick to their diets is two things. I'm going to tell you in the beginning of the video. So if you don't want to watch the whole video and learn what I'm saying and go in depth what I'm saying, you don't have to. All right. The main two things is hunger because people cut their calories too low, too quick. They might not even count calories. They just eat less food. They eat way less food automatically. All right. So that's hunger. You're going to be starving and you're going to rebound because you're going to binge later. All right. And the other thing is cravings. All right. People villainize a certain food, whether it's dirty food, clean food, processed food, whatever. They pick something and they villainize it and make it the enemy, the culprit. And they cut that out cold turkey. And usually that thing usually be their favorite food. Like maybe let's say your favorite food is chips, donuts, fried chicken, whatever it is, you know, it's high on calories and fattening so you want to cut it out if it's something that you eat every day you want to cut it out cold turkey that's a big mistake in my opinion no that's a fact that ain't no opinion that's a fact because guess what's going to happen you're going to crave it and you're going to binge eat it later all right so what i always tell people to do is moderation and slowly but surely start cutting things down uh, replacing things with things don't go don't switch your diet on and off like a light switch don't go from eating whatever you want and eating dirty to eating 100 percent clean that sounds good but that never works i'm usually telling people this because not even i'm more disciplined than 90 percent of people in the world that might sound like i'm tooting my own horn bragging or whatever but i'm not maybe a little bit but i'm just saying you be the judge look at me Look at my moves, look at the way I move, look at the way I talk, the things I talk about. L study me a little bit and then compare me to the average person that you see every day. And then how many people can you put in that category? That do kind of sound like I'm bragging a little bit. I guess I am. I am. But <laughs> and I got the right to. This comes from years of dedication, motivation, and discipline. All right? And doing. All right? So I'm going to lump that in with the reason why I cannot talk to anybody. I can't talk to nobody because people just argue with everything you say. Uh-uh, this, and uh-uh, that, uh-uh, this. And then they say that they can't lose weight. Or then they say, oh, you must be on you must be on something because I didn't gain that much muscle and I've been in the gym the whole time because you went to the gym, you got a membership and you started going to the gym. You didn't do what it was that it takes to do. You're not going to get there if you ain't doing what it takes. I don't care what it is. So, you know, so I can't talk to people because they won't listen. That's one reason I can't talk to you. If you're talking to me in the gym, I also can't talk to you because it's not about a conversation. It's not about a conversation. We can have the best conversation. Wow, this conversation is pretty great. Oh, we learned, we're doing it. But, but where's the work? That's the problem. Where's the work? Where is the work? If it's non existent, the, the results is going to be non existent. All right? You sacrifice for your goals, or your goals become a sacrifice. All right? If you're doing all this other stuff instead of you claim that you want to put in, guess what? It ain't going to work out. Comment, like, subscribe, share, holler back at your boy. This is just a little snippet, a little something I want to tell y'all real quick. My whole diet plan is in the link below. Please listen. It's free. Go, go click the link.